So what I determined was that these guns are built with fair, really fairly precise accuracy. Their dimensions are all, seem to be within tolerance and very close to each one. However, <clears throat> this may or may be off this lug in a relationship to the magazine by only a few thousands, five to eight thousands, which is enough that it caused a piston, even the heavy piston, to not sit properly and it would rub on the side, slow the action down, and, and in a lot of cases, the action wouldn't even work. The gun wouldn't even cycle. So after realizing that, I, th I had thought of this idea previously among the other many ideas that I tried to come up with and finally determined how to get this accomplished. No ring, but one that works really well. And here, if you look at this, I want to show you here. Look at that moving up and down on there. That's because this, this piston <clears throat> is tapered from here to here. And it has an internal taper that parallels it. Meaning that no matter what position it is on the gun, it will go in here. And it will fit. Now this diameter here is close to the inside diameter of this in here, which allows it to seal off. And as you can tell, it's, it seals off by the scraping motions. And then, of course, when this closes, it's sealed here. So I'll pull this off and, sh and uh, probably need to clean it up. But look at this, what this is doing. So this is moving, and it's doing the same thing that the ring is doing, because that's what the ring does, is it moves from side to side of these pistons. And when the ring goes too far to one side, it blows off. Because it gets air, on, it gets gases underneath of it. The other factor is that if this this magazine is not in perfect alignment with this, it the piston will be off center and cause the problem. And so let me pull this off. So if you look inside, you see the shiny where it wears. And you can see a little bit on the rim where it's been rubbing on one side. The, the dark the dark where the gas or the darkness is where the gas is going around it um, so this is designed to free float out here on the front end seal back here that's why you see the shiny shininess and the shiny ring seal it back here there's a few thousands clearance in here and there's a little bit of clearance in diameter when compared to this lug here okay goes in there just fine but well, what it does is it will cock itself automatically once one way or another now i'm exaggerating it here but it moves itself up and down it moves itself like along this it'll go up or it'll go down go sideways whatever it takes it'll go in there and it'll seal and that's exaggerated like i said it only moves just a little bit but that right there is the ringless piston when I put this in, I use this, I have absolutely no fear of a ring coming off. And uh, I know that you guys don't have the abilities to make, to make these. I don't, I don't have the ability to go in production of them. But this works. It works really well. And I have made uh, a couple of these for, different, for the different half fields I have. Thank <laughs> you.